as the volcano continues its dramatic explosions there, spewing jets of molten lava from a crack in the earth that is now several kilometres long. Well, the area is a volcanic and seismic hotspot not far from the capital, Reykjavik. Experts say the eruption could last for weeks or maybe even months. Well, this is the moment the volcano erupted late on Monday. These images captured on a webcam by the Icelandic broadcaster RUV as smoke and fiery lava lit up the night sky. Take a look at these pictures. These were caught by an eyewitness filmed on their phone as they were driving past this volcano. Very dramatic indeed. Well, scientists are continuing, of course, to monitor the explosion from the air and land. They had predicted an eruption after detecting intense seismic activity over the past few weeks, but they didn't know exactly when it would happen. Well, because they were predicting this, more than 4,000 residents of the nearest town, Grindavik, were already evacuated recently after a spate of earthquakes last month. Let's show you the live pictures. Let's return to them now because they are mesmerising in their uh, fierceness here. An eyewitness in the capital has told the BBC that half of the sky direction of the town was lit up in red from the eruption and saying that smoke could be seen billowing into the air. Well, experts have said they don't expect the eruption to bring the same level of disruption as one that took place a number of years ago. Now, you might remember back in Iceland in 2010, which uh, halted European air travel for quite some time, causing a huge <coughs> amount of disruption to that air travel over Europe and transatlantic air travel as well. Well, the Icelandic Met Office said that as of 12.30 GMT today on Tuesday, that the power of the eruption was in fact decreasing, but that gases from the volcano could still be felt in Reykjavik on Tuesday evening. We've also heard from another local person who said she'd seen the eruption from her home, saying it was crazy to see it with her own eyes. She said, we have had volcanic explosions before, but this was the first time that she was really scared. She said, we're used to volcanoes, but this was crazy, and that there was some panic on Monday night, and that she had, in fact, bought extra supplies of water and waiting for things to return to normal. But as I was saying, that could be weeks, according to some predictions or even months. We are hoping to speak to an expert, a volcanic expert, who's in Iceland very shortly for more on this situation there.